Hey, Alex, I'm going to do uh, offensive film of our game against Creighton. Uh, the best view is from this uh, wide view. I think it still gives us a pretty good shot of what it looks like, hopefully, just to give us over overall kind of a, a, a gist of what I'm trying to teach you guys. Um, so this first play here, we're running ghost to the left here. Okay, so we should be blocking first guy back with the center, uh, blocking down with the guard working up to the backside backer with the play side tackle because we're pulling two guys so we know that the play side backer is taken care of. We kick out the four. We lead up and through with the backside tackle. Okay. Watching Alton. Alton gets up to the back, backside linebacker. I love his demeanor. He's a little bit too high. Okay. But he gets his hands inside and he starts driving his guy, which I like to see. Okay. We're down here on the hip. Okay, we have leverage. We're keeping our leverage. Now, the thing is, Burke, is that I don't want to give up any penetration. When we have a drive block, you need to get your head in front of the guy. Okay, you need to get your head on the play side number because right now we're giving up penetration into the backfield, which is now blowing up or it can blow up our pullers from getting to where they need to get to. You need to get your head on his the front of his body to stop him from penetrating into the backfield. Okay, John, good job working backside, working back to go block your guy there. That's good. Watch the kick out. Okay, we stay tight. Okay, we hit the hip, which is good. Okay, Thome watching you. Okay, you stay tight. Thankfully, uh, Burke not blocking his uh, guy correctly. It doesn't get in your way and you're working up. Um here you can look backside to find anything to, to block on the backside. That's what you do. If you pull up into the hole here and you don't see anyone to block, then you start looking backside. Okay. We want to start looking backside for the hole. So if we would have ran the ball, I think we would have been in a great spot here as well. Okay. Watching our pass protection. Oh, no. This is, yep. So this is sprint right. Okay. So we should scoop the four. We should hinge with the guard, scoop the nose, uh, the zero nose. Uh, hinge with the backside guard, okay, and then um, scoop the backside four technique with the tackle, okay. So Thome, we need to do a better job of of reaching our guy, not getting blown up here, okay. We need to uh, hold in there better and make sure we keep that guy scooped, okay. We can't give up so much ground, um, and we got to make sure we reach that guy, okay. Uh, Lucas, it looks like you look play side first before you help back if you did a great job. Okay, uh, John, you need to get your head on the play side. We need to scoop this guy, John. We need to try to uh, get our head over there. Okay, Burke, you need, you're not trying to scoop him right away. You're just, you check your play side gap and then you should be turning back and helping Alton here. Okay, you should be turning back to help out, which you end up doing. You just do it a little late, okay? All right, 90s. Okay, I talked about this in an earlier film, Burke. Okay, you see how you're creating a dent in the cup because you're retreating right away? Do not retreat. Foot fire your feet on the line of scrimmage and then and then block your guy. Okay. Alton, you're the you're the fastest, most athletic lineman probably that we have. Um, there's no way that anyone should be beating you around uh around the hoop here. Okay, if someone wants to run uh, it to run by you okay you know that it's really hard for him to threaten your inside now just start running him upfield away from the quarterback just take him don't let him go keep running him run him by the quarterback okay we need to have more active feet here and if this guy chooses to go that way now you just need to turn and run him it turns into a drive block and just drive him away from the quarterback okay Tags, good job here, staying square, looking. You're helping out, giving a stop sign there. Okay, Lucas and Thom, this is a good job here from you guys with the fan call. Okay, going out to that outside backer. Okay, keeping the the integrity of the cup there. Okay, sweep out of thirty. So we're running sweep to the left. Okay, you have a four technique, Alton. So you should be trying to base him. Okay, we base the front side. We scoop the backside, okay? We're trying to cover guys up, cover guys up, cover guys up, okay? Um, and then on the backside, we're trying to cut it off, okay? So we should have a, uh, a base double here, Alton. So we should be basing to this guy, okay? Our H, 
are two H's. So uh, the outside H blocks the first guy outside. The second H should be um, blocking the second guy up to the second level, okay? Um, which they do a good job here. So Brady does a good job driving his guy out, okay? Um, Vincent, we need to break our feet down here like we're, we're going to tackle. We don't need a, a KO block. We just need you to get in front of this guy and get your hands on him and maintain your feet. Okay, that's the guy that's making the tackle there. So, Vincent, you need to calm your feet down before you make contact, right? Um, Alton, you, you take your square shuffle step here. You need to get your head on the other side. You don't have this guy reached. You need to get your head to the play side number. You're too high. Um, you need to get your hands uh, more inside, okay? But you need to get your head on the other side right away. Thankfully, this guy lets you reach him. Okay, and that makes it really easy for us, and then you can keep them there. Um, but you need to get your head on the play side right away on this side looking for your linebacker, okay? Um, Burke, you go the wrong direction here. You should be doubling with Alton, okay? You block back, okay? On, on dive and sweep, we're responsible for our play side gap, so you should be doubling with Alton, okay? There should be a base double on this guy up to that backer right here, okay? Um, John is doubling this guy. To the backside backer with uh with Lucas. Okay. That's what it should be. I don't know why we're why we are working back here. Okay. Because no one gets to the backside backer here. Okay. Lucas, I do see you starting to work there now, which is good. Okay. And you get on the shoulder and you drive them. That that's an excellent job. Okay, but we should be, I think, I, I see what you're doing here, and, and you're going through your progression, which I like. I, it's hard to tell if that guy was in a three technique or not. If you're giving a hand to that guy, that's good. You're giving a punch, you have your eyes in your gap in case that guy slanted into your gap, Lucas, so then you're working up to the next level. So, Lucas, I like what you're doing there. Okay, I don't know if you guys called this double team here, um, but uh, – one thing I do know is that, uh, Burke, we, we can't catch this linebacker right here, okay? You are not prepared, and he's starting to blow you up into the backfield. We can't catch guys, okay? We need to be the one to go to deliver the blow. Okay, running trap here. So um, they're in the double one look, so we're trapping the five. We should be going to the play side backer now because where there's only one guy pulling, we should be downing the one, downing the one. Kick out the five, wheel and seal on the backside. Okay. We get that done. Same thing, guys, with this, with our drive block. Okay, we need to get our head on the play side number. We cannot be giving up penetration so fast. Okay, because then he's getting right in our quarterback's face if he decides to keep it. But it also can, um, that penetration can really kill uh, our pullers trying to get across, like if we were running counter. Okay. Um. So we just need to be more aware of that. Alton, also, we're just too high. You pop up right away. Okay, I want you to rip release. I want you to rip and stay low. In case this guy wants to get hands on you, you need to rip and stay low so you can get up to that linebacker. Okay, if this guy wanted to punch you and get hands on, it'd be way too easy for him to do that. We're just too high, Alton. Okay. Okay, here we were on dive. Okay, Alton, good. Now drive this guy out. Okay, start driving him out. Don't just catch him and stay there. Okay, start driving him out and away from the play. Okay, I want you to be aggressive and showing mean intent and trying to drive this guy out of here. Okay, if you watch Brady here, or not Brady, uh, whoever, I think this is, I don't know who this is. Okay, but he gets on his guy and he starts driving his feet. But if you, if you do watch Brady at the each position, he is not afraid to get on guys and drive them and be mean and aggressive. We need to have mean intent We have it when we have a drive block, guys. Okay, here, Bert, you're too high. Okay, he notice that his helmet is in your chin. And notice what happens when, when we do that, guys. We need to be the guys to get our helmets under their chins. Okay, none of you are 6'8". Okay. All of you are, are short enough where you are able to get that job done, okay? You need to get your helmet under their chin and pop your hips and drive. We need to get our hands on the inside. These are things that I've been saying since day one, 
Okay, and I hope that this is a good reason, uh, gives you a good reason why as we should do that. Okay, because that's embarrassing for a team. Okay, that's embarrassing for a team right there with that happening. We cannot have that happen. Okay, we got to we got to do a, a way better job of dropping our hips, getting underneath guys. Okay. Otherwise we're going to really struggle this season, um, setting the tone with the run game. Okay. This is a good push double team here between you two. Okay. You should be comboing, um, here. This, so this would be an even front, right? So one, two, three, four. So this would be an even, even, even call. Okay. Um, so really what this should be, um, if this guy's a one technique takes, we get to block our gap first. So really this should be a push block with you and uh, Burke working up to that backer there. Okay, you two should be working up to this guy because you have a guy in your gap there uh, takes. So you two should be doubling that play side one to the play side backer. Okay, Lucas should be taking this guy by himself. And then Thom is working up to the backside backer by himself. Okay, that's what it should be. So as you can see, Thom is working up there. Tags, you should be working to that guy. Okay. So against a forefront, almost always our tackle has the ability to get up to the backside backer. So that's why the center needs to work to the front side backer. Okay. So notice we have no one working up to this guy. Okay. So we did not ID the, this correctly or block it correctly. Okay, 59 switch. So this was a good job picking up this. Uh, the, remember, they moved late here. So uh, they moved these guys out into threes and they brought both backers up. This is a great job just blocking your inside gap and creating that cup and letting the pressure come from the outside, which gives our quarterback time to throw the ball. This is a great job from everybody blocking their inside gap. Um, to help pick that stuff up. This is an a, a excellent heads-up job from you guys, okay, blocking the inside first. Everyone steps inside hard, okay, we're picking up our inside gap, creating that cup, giving our quarterback time to try to throw the ball, okay. Here we're running boot, okay. So we're faking counter here. Lucas, this is a good job picking up this uh, linebacker that's flown over the top, trying to stop him. Okay, Thome, I think you thought you had a four technique here, and he goes outside, so you drive him outside. That's good. Okay, Burke, you get out here, and you're looking for work. Okay, don't stop your feet. Keep your feet active. Okay, you do get to that guy. Stay on him if you can. Okay, and uh, – Takes good job staying on your guy. Alton, we need to cut this guy off better, and we cannot give up so much ground on this backside, Alton. Okay. I love how you drive him here, though. That's a good job. Okay. That's what you need to do on your 50s pass protection as well. Okay. But we're catching too much. I want you to, once you get that guy cut off, I, I want you to go attack him. Okay. But we do a good job here protecting it. It's just our quarterback cannot outrun our protection which he does here okay we run sweep sweep left here okay brady you need to have your feet a lot more under control here okay when you make contact you're not in a good position to block this guy so that's why it's easy for him to just throw you off okay we could get called for a holding call there if you're still holding on to the guy Okay, you need to be a lot more under control when you're blocking this guy. Okay. Here we have a base double. Okay, Alton and Burke. Once again, Alton, we're just too high. And look how this guy gets his helmet under your chin. And watch how your helmet, helmet pops back. Okay, that is not us set, setting the tone, uh, getting underneath guys uh, the way that we need to. Okay. You need to drop your hips more, and you are need to be the one to get your helmet under him, okay, so you can roll your hips into him. Thankfully, we have a double team, but Alton, one of the things you do the best, probably out of all of us, is that you get your hands inside, and you run your feet after contact, which is great, okay, because that's when we start uh, getting pancakes right there is when you get your hands inside and you run your feet, 
Okay. Now I would just love your initial get off to be better, but you're maintaining the block and running your feet is probably the best out of anyone in this group uh, so far. Burke, this is a great job finally working play side. Okay. There should be a base double team here. Okay. So we should be scooting. I can't tell if your footwork is doing that. You should be scooting over to cover the inside number of this guy. Okay. But that guy works out. Okay. He works out. I don't know if it's because of your punch, but he works out. So you work up to your backer. Now, same thing. We're way too high guys. Okay. His helmet is under your chin. Okay. You don't have your hands on the inside. Okay. You do a good job running your feet, but we do not have, we're not blocking this guy very, uh, very well at all. Okay. We're not doing a good job with um, our blocking technique. We need to do a better job with that. Okay. Uh, Tags. I wish I could see your footwork here, but that guy's kind of splitting our double team here. Um, I don't know um, whose fault really that is. I don't know if you're hop side hopping like you have a tendency to do. Where it, Notice how if that guy's able to split the double team. It's not very tight. Okay. Um, we just So we just got to make sure we get that even tighter uh, if we can. Okay. But you guys should be working up to that backside backer. That backside bagger triggers, okay? Uh, so Lucas should be getting off on him. Lucas does not get off on the backside backer, okay? Thankfully, that guy takes himself out of the play, but we need to get that guy blocked up, okay? So our combo really doesn't work there. Thom, on the backside here, buddy, you you have to get this guy cut off, okay? Your helmet is on the wrong, wrong side. I do not see lateral helmet movement out of you. I should see your helmet working this way, trying to scoop this four technique and get them cut off. Okay, your helmet's on the wrong side. Your hands, you, you can't do it with your hands. This guy's able to beat you across. Okay, thankfully, he's not getting into the play and making the tackle. You stay on him, which is good, but we got to get him cut off right away. You have to get your head on the play side to reach guys and cut guys off. Okay, we run sweep again here to the right. Okay, watching Brady again. Okay, Brady, this is a lot better. Okay, I'd love to see your feet a little bit wider, uh, but I love how you're staying on him and you're driving your feet. That's where you get pancakes is where you get inside hand position and you run your feet. Inside hand position and run your feet. That's how you do it, okay? Phone, uh, you need to be lower. Okay, we're helmet to helmet. Thankfully, he didn't get his chin under yours, okay? But I think he wins this inside hand position because he's able to throw you off. Okay, I also think probably your feet um, are too narrow to block this guy. Okay, um, you're not looking at your linebacker. Okay, you're not looking in your gap. Your linebacker flows over the top. You're not staying square. Okay, um, and you're not able to get off and block this guy, and that's the guy that makes the tackle. Okay, we need to get off to our linebacker. Lucas is doing a great job of shuffling and trying to overlap here. Okay, and he takes the guy over, which is fantastic. Okay, but Thome, you need to have your body un under control so you can work up to your linebacker. Okay. Okay, Tiggs, we need we need to get our head to the play side. Okay, we're not working a, with a lateral head to the play side. That guy is able to beat us play side, and we're lucky that guy doesn't make the tackle there. You need to get your head to the play side number. Lateral head, get your head to the play side number. Um so you can block them. Okay. Burke, I see what you're doing, but don't turn your shoulders with this rewind. Okay. You step, you see his hip disappear. Do not turn to do this. Do not turn your body because if this guy triggers, you're not going to be able to block the linebacker. Okay. You are not able to block him. but you do a good job helping out Alton here um, with this guy. To, so Alton can get this guy cut off. This is why we do this. This rewind technique is to help our guy backside. So this is a great job rewinding to help Alton block this guy um, to so Alton get that guy cut off. So that's a good job with the rewind. Alton, we need to get this guy cut off sooner. Same thing, our head is not in the right position. In order to reach someone, you need to have a lateral head, get your head on the place side number, and have your hands on the inside uh, framework of his body to get that guy cut off. Okay, Alton, I want you to notice something. We might get called off sides here because you your feet are not even with the guard, so you need to make sure you scoot up and get your feet even with the guard. Okay, here we're running trap. 
gosh, we should have we should have handed this ball off. It looks clean here, guys. Okay. So Vincent does a good job. Oh, Vincent, you, you need to break your feet down as you're blocking somebody. Okay. You need to break your feet down. You're just way too out of control. You are way too out of control here with your feet. Okay. Alton, good job. Uh, not touching the trap guy. He's lava. You get up to your backer. Okay. He wants to flow over the top. You him out and stay on him and drive your feet. Okay. Stay on him and do not let him go. Okay, Burke, we're way too high. You need to be down on the hip, okay? I know it looks like he kind of slants to your gap, but you're still way too high. Think, good job still driving your feet on him, though, okay? Tags, good job having your eyes on the linebacker and coming off when you need to. Lucas, good job staying tight on the double team and punching him on the on the correct side. He's running straight up field. We should, able, should be able to run the ball inside that, okay? Foam, way too high. Um, that guy just puts his head right in your chest and, and we're giving up way too much ground here on the backside wheel and seal. Okay, here we run counter. This is a great job here, guys. Okay, we got two two one techniques and the wide fives. Okay, Alton watching you. You're stepping down to help out with the one technique. Okay, which, you know, that we don't, we don't need to do that because he's a one. Um, he's in the a gap. Okay. Um, that can be tags guy, but you, you do a nice job stepping down and replacing the guard and then turning back for that guy, um, who's pursuing on the backside. So you do a good, a good job with that, but we don't need to step down so hard for a one technique that would only need to be a, like a two technique or a three technique bait. Maybe if tags calls for your help. Okay. So tags, good job, uh, blocking back. Lucas, good job blocking back. Burke, watching your pull. Okay, you need to be lower, and you need to get on the hip. We're too high. Okay, Thom, getting to your backer. I love how you break your feet down. Good. Don't touch this guy. That's not your guy. Okay, work to that backside backer. Make sure you block your backside backer and stay on him. Okay, stay on him. Don't stop your feet. Your feet go dead. Okay, we, we can't have that happen. You need to still block that guy. Okay. Here, Vincent, you could be tighter to the wall. You see, you still got some space. You could be tighter to that wall, attacking upfield earlier, so that way our running back isn't right in your hip pocket um, or your back pocket there. Um, but we still end up getting some decent yards. Okay, 90s again. Okay, Lucas, try not to get beat on your inside like this. Okay, try to keep your feet better so that guy can't beat you back inside. Foam, good job running your guy upfield. Okay, uh, Burke, as you're helping out with this uh, one technique here, try to keep your outside arm free. So you can help out um, block this guy with Alton. You can give punch this guy with your outside hand to help Alton out. Alton, this is what I'm saying here. We we can't have this cup collapse so much. Okay. Try to drive this guy out so we can keep the integrity, the width of the cup. Okay. We want to try to keep the width of that cup. Okay, uh, Alton, so you should be blocking your gap there. So you should be blocking this guy uh, on kick. Okay, we're blocking back. I, I can't tell if this guy's a one or not. He's a, he's a three. Okay, so we should be blocking here. Okay, um, Bert is blocking back on the three. Tags is blocking the one. Okay, blocking our gap. Blocking our gap. Okay, we're kicking out the five and we're leading up and through. So we're all blocking back. On our gap here, creating a wall on the back side, get, keeping our head on the play side number because we have leverage. Okay. Okay, Thom. So if you get here and you don't see anyone to, to attack, Keep working up on your train tracks to the next level. Keep working up, and maybe you can help out here. Don't don't stand with your butt in the hole. 
Um, keeps working on your train tracks if you don't see anyone to block there. Okay. Uh, we get a great kick out and pull through here. Okay. We attack the inside. Okay. We we attack the inside here with both our H's and we're able to find the hole and, and go get it. The only one, the one glaring thing here is that Alton, you need to make sure you block your gap first. Okay. Um, in case that guy's flying flat to make the tackle. Okay. I think that's enough to watch there. It's pretty good stuff, guys.